The four variations of the jab, cross jab we're gonna walk through today are gonna challenge you to stay in somewhat of a confined position, but each version of this jab, cross jab is gonna help you develop your ability to gauge distance with your straight punches. The first version of the jab cross jab is gonna force you to stay in one static position. And as you do this, you're gonna to have to get a little bit closer to the back than you normally would like to. And as you're in this position, you're gonna tap the bag to make sure that you're just not too far away from the bag and not too close to the bag. So the first version of the jab cross jab, you throw your jab, you come through with your left hand, your right hand comes back, and then you turn over again. My feet didn't move forward, they didn't move backward. I was in one static position. So let's try that again. One, two, three. Just tap in the bag. So in real time, it'll look something like this. <laughs> One more time. And you'll notice that the punches, they're getting quicker, but they're also being more effective because I'm not moving forward because the purpose of this combination is that if you're standing toe to toe with a fighter, sometimes you may not be able to throw a hook and just throwing the one, two isn't enough. But if you surprise them with that third punch, which is your jab, you can break up the rhythm, break their guard, and hopefully open up more punches. The second variation of the jab cross jab is you're gonna move slightly to the outside. So you're gonna move to the right. And as you do this, you're in your boxing stance, you're gonna go jab, cross, see I moved over a little bit, and then jab over the top, very slowly, Let's repeat it one more time. Jab, cross, jab. Speed it up a little bit more. Jab, cross, jab. Speed it up a little bit more. <laughs> so my feet are moving off to the side a little bit on an angle, so I'm punching to the outside of my fighter. <laughs> so the variation of this jab, cross, jab is to move to the outside of your fighter, to move laterally, but also on an angle so you're just not in one static position. So let's try it one more time. We stay in front of our fighter and now we're gonna angle off with our three punch combination. <laughs> and so the purpose of the jab, cross, jab is not only that you wanna make the left hand powerful, but you wanna make sure that that third punch, the jab, is more powerful than it would have been if you just threw a regular jab. So that's why you step a little bit more into that third punch on this combination as you move to the outside. So jab, cross, and turn over. Make that third punch a lot more powerful and make it count by turning over that punch. <laughs> now, the third variation of the jab, cross, jab is simply moving into the fighter. And the way that you can do this is you can start very close, but then your punches will be crowded. So you can start very close with your punches, but they'll be crowded. So how do you make the room? So you basically, you start off, you're close to your fighter, and you push them back with your punches. So you're close. I'm taking baby steps forward, inching my way into my fighter, my punches aren't fully extended, but they're effective enough to push my opponent back and create distance for something else. Maybe it's a left hand, or maybe it's just enough distance for me to get out of the way. So I'm very close to my fighter. <laughs> and again, that third punch is more powerful than the first two punches. <laughs> and so as you're close to your opponent and you're throwing straight punches, be aware that they may step to the side, they may come crowd you, or they may you know, grab you at the same time. So there's are things that you need to consider as you're inside with your fighter and you're trying to pop off three punches, be aware that you can get countered, but 
your opponent can also tie you up. <coughs> and always be aware that when you're throwing these short three punches moving forward, the jab, cross, jab, moving forward, think of pushing your opponent back and trying to get a little more distance between you, your opponent, and you, your punches, and your opponent. Now the fourth variation of the jab, cross, jab is a little unconventional. Because what you're gonna do with this one is you're gonna step to the inside with your third punch. So what you do is you throw a regular one, two, so one, two, you load it up, and then you're gonna take your rear leg and step to the side, put as much as you can behind that third punch. So let's try that again. One, two, hut. So all the weight from your body transfers as you step to the inside. And mind you, I'm not stepping like this where I'm off balance because I'd be easily knocked over. I'm angling off, taking my foot and widening my boxing stance just enough so that I can create enough distance, land that jab, and just be out of distance or out of range from my orthodox fighter to hit me with a right hand or a hook. Let's try it one more time. You're gonna go one, two, load up, step to the side. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> one more time, a little bit cleaner. Gonna step into the bag with the first one too, so one, two, Put everything you want behind that third punch. And as you work on these four variations of the jab, cross, jab, or as I like to refer to as the one, two, three, be aware that different situations are gonna cause you to do different things. Sometimes you're gonna have to stand and fight toe to toe with a fighter. And the jab, cross, jab is a very good tool that you can use to push them back or if you're up against the ropes. The other variation of the jab, cross, jab is stepping to the outside. And you wanna to step to the outside, create an angle, so that third jab that you land is able to crack your opponent on the side of their head. The next variation of the jab, cross, jab, the third variation, is simply you're in close and you're trying to throw short, quick punches, but putting emphasis behind them to push your opponent back. And the fourth variation of the jab, cross, jab is simply throwing a one, two, and then stepping to the inside, but on an angle and putting as much power as you can behind that last jab. What are your thoughts? Is this something that you can use in the gym? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts, or if you wanna see any videos made in the future, leave them in the comments down below and I'll make one for you. Thank you and have an amazing day.